Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tatiana Anissa. For those of you guys who are new here, welcome to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, what's up you guys? How's it going? How is everyone doing? Christmas is so soon and the fact that I have been posting every single day in a row for 19 days already is crazy to me and I'm really happy about that because like I didn't think that it was possible but you know 2020 has taught me that literally anything is possible I did not expect my channel to grow as much as it has already within a couple of months and I'm just extremely extremely grateful and thankful for each and every one of you guys who take the time out of your day to watch my videos comment down below like or even just click the subscribe button it truly means a lot to me and it really does make me extremely extremely happy that you guys like the content that i am putting out so i'm hoping you guys like today's video because this is something i've been wanting to do for quite a while i love ranking videos especially like really popular brands i'm gonna be ranking every single one of my juvia's place palettes and you guys some of y'all may know I have a lot of Juvia's Place palettes. I have literally almost every single palette they've ever come out with. Juvia's Place is one of the brands, just like ColourPop, that I love to collect. I low-key, high-key buy every palette that they come out with because, first of all, it's a black-owned brand. We love our black-owned brands on this channel, okay? And uh, Juvia's Place's eyeshadow formula is an unmatched formula. Say hi to my channel. What do you do, baby? Yeah. It's your I, boy Poppy Chulo in the building. Oh my gosh. Gonna bring you back another video. Okay. All right. If you guys want to see him come on my channel, do any type of video, definitely let me know in the comments because he would totally love that. By the way, you guys, he's getting ready to start his own channel. So when he does, I will let you guys know it so you guys can go and subscribe to his channel. By the way, before we get started in ranking these palettes, I want to tell you guys my lip combo because I always get a lot of questions on what lip combo I'm wearing. So I am wearing the Juvia's Place liner in the shade Scorpio and then the Juvia's Place gloss in the shade It's Electric. Perfect combo. I thought it looked so good with this look today. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with these rankings because your girl got a lot of palettes and I can't, like, I could probably pick them up and show you guys. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, I gotta rank all these. Well, they're technically already ranked. Um, I just gotta tell you guys what I picked. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to rank these from least to greatest. So many palettes that I will lose track of the number that I'm on. I'll see the numbers once I get to like my top six, maybe top ten. That way it'll be easier to keep track of. But as of right now, we are going to go from least to most favorite. Ashy is going to help me with the first one. He like his little Christmas sweater. It's so cute. Okay, Kashi, the first one that is my least favorite Juvia's Place ever as of right now is the nudes palette now let me tell you guys why Kashi, do you see this smell it smell it what it smell like like the last one in my list i know okay so i rank this one my least favorite juvia's place palette because it is the lightest of lightest palettes this is definitely a companion palette first of all this is the lightest palette uh Ever. I was really surprised that Juvia's Place came up with a palette like this. Like, I get the whole idea of the nudes. I love how they do, like, the, like, for lips, they did, like, the nudes collection, the chocolates, the peaches. I get it. And then they did it with the palettes. Completely understandable. But the fact that there's, like, not a dark enough nude for someone of my skin tone or even deeper um, is just, like, what am I going to do with this palette? Of course, I can use the shimmers. The shimmers are great to use with looks but i just it's just not my favorite i don't get a ton of use out of this palette all right so the next one is the taupes palette now i do love taupes i love them i love them a lot but uh out of all the other juvia's place palettes this taupe one is just not one of my favorite palettes from juvia's place the next one that is in my least favorites is the nubian and i think this is Juvia's Place's first palette that they ever came out with. So I know some people like really love this palette. They like stand behind it and they thoroughly enjoy this palette. But for me, it is just the most, it's just such a boring neutral palette for me. I know a lot of people love this color story, but Juvia's Place has other nude palettes that I think are 
absolutely gorgeous and yes they look like every other nude palette but it's just something about it is just like really really beautiful and I think that this palette has a revamped sister that Juvia's Place came out with that is ranked very high in my list so yeah this one I just I'm just not the biggest fan of. So the next one is the first Juvia's Place palette I ever bought. This kicked off my Juvia's Place obsession. And to be honest, I just started getting into Juvia's Place. I found Juvia's Place at the end of 2019. And I believe this is when I got that palette. Or was it not? I can't remember. I think it was. Because I was in Boston. And I, yeah. Okay. I Yes. I remember. So that is the Coral palette. Now, when this first came out I was like I got to have this palette I need this palette but then as I started to play with this I just really wasn't sure at the time I wasn't really sure how to make grays corals and pinks go together I just and that really made me not like this palette that much I stopped picking it up I thought about decluttering it but I ended up keeping it because it is like a collectible. I decided that I wanted to start collecting Juvia's Place palettes. So I kept the Coral palette. And though it's not my favorite Juvia's Place palette, it is a really unique take on a Coral palette. So yeah. Next palette that I ranked pretty low is the Chocolates. So I, I can only do so much with this palette. I feel like these two browns in here, once on the eyes, they translate as the same color. Um, but yeah, I feel like every time I pick up this palette, I pick it up because I know it's going to be the exact same look every time. Because that's all I can do with it, unless I use this palette with another one. But yeah, this one is ranked pretty low in my list. Nubian Glow Palette. This just came out not too long ago. I think it is a really pretty companion palette. This palette does not stand on its own and personally I love palettes that can stand on their own. I don't mind using palettes in conjunction with another one but palettes that I feel like I can't use on its own I don't pick up that much. A Freak Palette. Though this is such a unique color story and I don't know of any other palettes that are like this, this is basically all of your primary colors and I mean these are not the colors I tend to gravitate to. In particular I find that the formula of this palette, like the mattes are not the best in my opinion. The shimmers are absolutely beautiful but the mattes in here are just not my favorite. The Nomad palette. Now this palette I thought they were going to discontinue. I think they probably did discontinue this palette but it has been on sale quite frequently on Juvia's Place's site. Um, but yeah, it's just a really, it's a really pretty green palette. It's not my favorite green palette from Juvia's because Juvia's has another green palette that is like my favorite. But this one is really pretty and I do like the looks that I create with this, so. Violets, and I know you guys are probably like, girl, I thought purple was your favorite color to put on your eyes. And I'm like, it is, it is, it is, but. I can only do so much with this palette, and I get it. Once again, I get it. It's the violets. It's supposed to be a monochromatic palette. Yeah, I get it. You know, I understand that. But there's mainly shimmers in this palette, and I... This is probably really scandalous to say, but I kind of prefer a lot of mattes. Like, I would prefer more mattes than shimmers, and the problem with this palette is that there's only two mattes in here, and those two mattes... You can get, you basically get the same kind of look every time you use this palette. I feel like that's just the thing with monochromatic palettes. You're always going to get the same type of look. It's always going to be purple. It's always going to be violet, blue, whatever. It's always going to be whatever color it is. But, I mean, it's a pretty palette, but it's just not my favorite from Juvia's. Next one is the Nubian 2. Now, these palettes that we're getting into now, I actually really do thoroughly enjoy. But I gotta rank it. That's the point of ranking, you know. But this is such a nice neutral palette. I feel like this is a different take on a neutral palette. It is so unique. And if you're looking for a neutral palette, I highly recommend the Nubian 2 because... It's really pretty. You get so many pretty shades with this. And one thing I love about all of Juvia's Place palettes is that these are color stories where I, I have to think about what kind of look that I'm going to be going for and the shades I, I want to use because it is so... It's hard to choose with these palettes because the color stories are so unique and there's so many options to choose when it comes to Juvia's Place. Which is why I really love this brand. I truly, truly do. The next one is the Saharan palette. And this one is also really pretty. It's fairly neutral, but I mean, 
it's really unique. This one has a ton of shimmers in it, but the thing with this palette is that it just, the color store doesn't entirely speak to me. Whenever I need like a mid color, this is the palette that I always pull from, from Juvia's because, you know, they have really pretty lid shades in here and shimmers. And this kind of reminds me of one of the older ColourPop palettes too. I don't own it, but I want to say like the Magic palette from ColourPop or something like that. It was like, I think it was all shimmers and it was like a holiday release. This palette kind of reminds me of that one. And next we have the Berries palette. And this one is a really pretty color story. I can do a lot with this. I think it is really, really stunning. And whenever I want a berry look, this is the one that I pull from. Same goes with the Nubian Royal. I think this is so unique and it's one of the one of the best six pan palettes from Juvia's. This one was in their new like holiday release and I really love this one. I don't know if you guys have seen my review. I'll try to link it above in a card just in case you want to check it out. But this palette and the Nubian Glow palette are on sale in the little gift sets on Ulta's website. So definitely check it out if you are if you like this palette. It's really pretty and Personally, I prefer this one over the violets just because, like, look at them. Like, come on. If we're going to pick a purple palette, your girl going to pick this one. Just saying. And there's also a pressed glitter in here, which adds something a little bit different to the look. And you don't just create the same look every time. If that makes sense. Next, we have the Masquerade palette. Believe it or not, I have not used this one, but I... Really wanted this one. I'm ranking this where it is just because I love the color story of this palette. I know I'm gonna love the formula. Everybody loves this palette, but it's basically half neutral, half colorful shadows, and it is really, really pretty. And I love these neutral shades in here. Oh my gosh. I need to... I need to use this. I'm going to sit this back here to remember to use it. I might use it tomorrow, but you know. Alright, so next we have the Magic palette, and I really love this one. I have the Magic Mini. I don't have the big one because I'm... I have I see no reason for me to have the big panned eyeshadow palettes because your girl not gonna go through that. She's not gonna go through that. But I truly really love this palette. It is so 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 unique. This is one of the more unique palettes from Juvia's. In a way, this is also half kind of neutral, half colorful, but the tones of them are different. So we have like half neutral but yet half warm tones, and then we also have half colorful but cooler tones which i kind of like the, i like the layout of this palette and i like the idea behind this one and this one is one of my favorites we are getting down to the last 12 palettes so number 12 goes to the zulu palette now this is a typical rainbow palette there's really nothing unique about this palette honestly but it is really pretty whenever i need a simple rainbow color i pull from this one but number 11 goes to the Warrior palette. And while I think the Zulu and the Warrior palette are literally sisters, they are absolutely sisters, I always use these two palettes together no matter what. I never not use these together. If I'm going to use the Warrior, I know I got to pull the Zulu. So that's why these two are kind of low-key the same for me. But yeah, that's why they're 11 and 12. The packaging itself is really stunning. Love these colors. And then this blue in here called Congo is my favorite blue from Juvia's Place. Like, it's... Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I didn't do that many swatches, you guys, because I knew we were going to be here all day. And that was going to be a lot to edit. But if there's a palette you really want to see me do looks with on my channel... Definitely leave it in a comment down below. You guys know I love to do whatever you guys want to see and request. And the requests that I have been getting, don't worry, I am working on them, you guys. Next, we have the Yami Angelina X Juvia's Place Palette. I just did a review on this, linking it in the card above. Love this palette. It's so good. It's one of my favorite six-man palettes from Juvia's because it is so different. I think I really like this because it's also not just a monochromatic palette and I'm kind of over the monochromatic palettes at this point. I feel like it has been built to the fullest. Um, but yeah, I don't know how many like more monochromatic palettes I can take. But this is a breath of fresh air. It's different. It gets me ready for springtime. Ready for spring. Uh, I couldn't wait for fall. Couldn't wait for winter. But now I'm kind of over it. I want the spring to come and I just want some lighter coverage type of looks, you know. This palette just really gets me excited for the springtime. Next, we have the Festival Palette and Honey. 
The Festival palette is so different. It's so different, which is why it's ranked high. You guys are going to see that the more different kind of palettes are ranked higher in my list because they are different. Um, but I really like this one. This is one of those color stories where I have to think about the kind of look that I'm going to do and then do it. But this one, I really have to think hard because I ain't never seen a color story look like this. And But it's just cute. It's really cute. It's different. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy using this palette. Number eight goes to the Warrior palette. This is one of my favorite all matte palettes. Now ColourPop is coming out with all matte palettes and they're trying to compete with this Juvia's Place palette, but it doesn't even look like I use this, but this is one of my most used Juvia's Place palettes. It's just like with the matte shades, it's like you cannot make a dent in them. It's just so hard with Juvia's. You cannot make a dent in these, but I love this palette. If you were looking for, oh, dug my nail in there. If you're looking for a nice all matte neutral palette where you just don't have to think about the look that you're going to create, this is the one and I think this is so stunning and works for all skin tones. Highly recommend this if you are a beginner to Juvia's Place and you just want to start getting into the formula and working your way into color. Definitely start with this one. It is so good. You have everything you need in this one palette. Next, my favorite 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 neutral palette of all time, not just Juvia's Place, but of all time is the Warrior palette. This is absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. This is my most used neutral palette in my entire collection and the shimmers in here are absolutely beautiful. I love using this palette. I create some beautiful, beautiful looks every time I pull this palette. I just know when I pull this palette, my look's gonna be bomb, okay? Oh my god, the shimmers. Let me just swatch some of these for you guys because you guys need to see this because Along with the Warrior 2, you gotta get the Warrior. How you gonna get the Warrior 2 but not the Warrior? You know, you gotta get the sisters, okay? You can't just leave them out. You can't leave them hanging. These are the shimmers in the Warrior palette. Absolutely beautiful! If you've made it this far in this video, I thank you because I know this is a long one. I have so many palettes. A Hala palette and Honey, she was so hard to get. Everybody wanted her. She is stunning and... She's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. She brings the drama. She's cute. She's the palette where it's like, ooh, going out tonight, I need a fire look. I need a fire palette to match this fire look. This is her. This is the one you need. This is the one you want. Mauves. Y'all know I love my mauves. I talk about it all the time. This is literally, it's so beautiful. This palette is absolutely beautiful. I love, 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 love this palette. This is my favorite mauve palette. It is so stunning and I can get so much out of this. I can get so many different looks out of just these six shades. I think this was so well curated and really, really gorgeous. Love this one. Sweet pinks because these are really, really pretty. Just like the mauves, I can get so much out of this because there's every shade is literally a different shade of pink. And this is one of my favorite pink palettes in my collection. Oh my gosh, let me swatch the shimmers in this palette. And I also love this palette because there are three shimmers and three mattes. It's like the perfect balance. So I just love taking one of the shimmers and like putting it on my lid. Oh, it's just so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. It's Saharan 2 palette. And I don't know what it is about this palette that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. But it is just like so unique the shimmers in here are so stunning i've never used shimmers like these before oh my gosh i just think that the shimmers really take this palette home for me they are absolutely beautiful and i just oh my god do you guys see that blue do y'all see that blue now this is a palette that i didn't think that i would thoroughly love um, because of just like how like fairly neutral it is, but I really really love this palette That's why it's number three. I think it is so unique It is really really gorgeous and one of my favorite Juvia's Place palettes thus far And then I have like the perfect matte shades in this palette. So now we're down to the last two palettes So my number two palette is not a palette that I did not think would be number two, which is kind of weird, but Today really confirmed this for me. I'm wearing this palette on my eyes today and I think it is really pretty. You guys have to really see it in person to get the full effect. But number two goes to the Wahala 2 palette. I know, this palette is full of blues and stuff. Using this palette today, I was trying to find a shimmer in here that I wanted to put all over the lid and as I was swatching these, though this looks like a ton of blues, they're not the same. Like, they're truly not the same, you guys. Like, there are some duochromes in here that I, like, 
triochromes, trichromes. I didn't even know when I was doing my review. I didn't swatch every shade in here. There's just so many, and I really wanted to get it up for you guys, so I didn't get to do all the swatches for this. But there's so many, like, duochromes in here. Not the same. Like, this... Oh, my gosh. They're so not the same, you guys. Like, they all have, like, different kind of shifts to them. Look at the duochrome in this. Like, that is so... So cool like they're all different like you have to see it in person this bottom shade is purple that's blue and that's like the greeny duochrome but like there's just so many fun shades in this palette I truly did not expect to like this as much as I do but it is my number two palette I was really surprised by it I think the palettes that surprise you the most are the ones that are most special okay and then lastly this video is getting so long oh my gosh is the tribe palette this is my absolute favorite palette from juvia's place my absolute number one favorite i never was a green lover until i got this palette this is like so beautiful it's my favorite green palette of all time love the shimmers in here absolutely stunning i always pull from this palette whenever i want to do a nice beautiful green look this is the palette that I pull from because it is just so beautiful and unique and very, very different. Who would have thought a green palette would be my favorite palette from Juvia's Place? I don't know what it is about this palette that I love, love, love so much. Not just because of the color story, but like just the palette itself. It is so, so, so pretty. I seriously love this palette. Highly recommend this one before they discontinue it. It was a lot. Um, but... I will say there's two palettes that are on my list that I truly want that I haven't gotten yet and that is the Queen palette with Fumi. That was a collab she did, a six pan palette collab she did with Juvia's. Still waiting for that to go back in stock and then I really, really, really wanted the Deuce palette but they discontinued that palette which really sucks because it would have been such a perfect addition to this collection and I knew it would have been ranked high in this ranking. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you made it through this entire video, I thank you so much. I know this was a long one, but you know, I really wanted to rank these. And if I had waited to rank these a lot longer, I would have had more palettes and it would have been an even longer video. So, okay. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.